service. We have a great 2007 Sea Ray 240 Sundancer here that we sold new last year and just traded it back on a larger boat. It's a great opportunity for somebody to get into a small cruiser for a lot less money than getting into something brand new. Uh, the boat is in excellent condition. There's only 34 hours on the engine. So it was really only used for, for one season and, and, and really only a few months at that. Uh, but the boat's in great shape. Outside, just something minor here with the tape. We can actually address that and get that taken care of. But the uh, outside of that, the boat is, is in wonderful condition. Outdrive looks real good. This boat's powered with a 350 mag, 300 horsepower Bravo 3. So you got plenty of power for the uh, for the boat. Runs great. The ladder, the ladder stows way up inside here. What's nice about the ladder though that it's it's big. The ladder drops down. If you're floating in the water, it makes it real easy to get in and out of the, the water. Nice wide steps, almost ladder in feature, or steps in feature. When you do come up to the top here, you got a nice swim platform here. Makes it easy for water sports jumping in and out, or just stepping from the dock onto the boat. Features also include transom trunk, with all your shore power, all your water hookups, all of that go through here and into here plus plenty of room to hang maybe some extra dock lines, fenders, and things like that. A nice thing here with this boat is you have a nice walk-through transom to walk right inside. You don't have to step over anything, and the slam latch doors make it nice and convenient. Nice and high also. If you have children on board, you can easily keep them inside the cockpit. And the door stays open as well with a latch. Uh, inside the cockpit, very, very good condition. Uh, the, uh, the the vinyl upholstery is excellent. There's not really a mark on them at all. The uh, you can get an idea here of the space inside. Nice seating for two, possibly three, across the back here, with cup holders, stainless steel cup holders all around. This boat features wet bar with sink, plus storage under here. There's even a table. That locks down, but that fits in the position here as well. So you have a table that stows away out of the way. Cup holders all around inside here. Uh, the entertainment setup kind of comes into the cockpit forward here, too, with two seats that sit facing toward the cockpit here. With also a table that comes around. So now you have cup holders here, an extra table here and here. So if you have a group of people on board, you can easily sit around and, uh, well, have drinks or have, uh, have food and things on here. Uh, what's nice about the wet bar and these tables, you can put it the grill that hangs off the side of the boat. So now you can even add another dimension to your boating. But the boat inside here is in real nice shape. Again, more cup holders all around. Uh, inside the cockpit here we have dual helm seat. The dual helm seat has a flip down. So now you can sit very comfortably here. Two people can easily sit side by side. Your throttle is right here, easy to reach. Steering wheel, which does tilt as well. The flip-up thigh rise is nice because when you're cruising, you can sit up nice and tall and look up over the windshield. The dashboard, beautiful. Uh, this one's got the gel-coated dash in a, in a nickel color pewter, uh, which really looks great across the front here. Kind of subdues the, the color off the dashboard. VHF radio, located right here. Very easy to operate. Plus, it has the Garmin. We installed this. We sold this boat new, and we put this in here. Garmin 440S. Uh, it's a nice color chart plotter, GPS, that's located right here. Uh, all your gauges and instruments right here, easy to see. Trim tabs are located down here, and stereo remote control at your fingertips as well. The, the nice thing about these setups here with the Sundancers is you have the, you have the door that goes to the cabin. Nice and smooth operation. You can easily step up onto the deck from this position and walk through the windshield. Up on the deck, you have your anchor locker. That's stowed up there as well. As we go down into the cabin,
first thing you'll notice is the headroom inside here. You got plenty of room, 24 foot boat, but you got plenty of room to move about inside this cabin. Uh, the boat is well equipped and frankly well appointed. It's very nice inside the cabin here and you'll see that when you come in. Uh, very nice condition. Uh, hot and cold water gives you uh, water at the sink here. Nice thing that Sea Ray does too is this brushed nickel look to the to the fixtures. Very, very pleasing, uh, aesthetically pleasing inside the cockpit here. Uh, you have uh, counter space or sink. So you can gain some counter space here with that lid for the sink. Butane stove, works like a gas stove at home. This is great, we have one in our boat also and what's nice about it is it heats food so quickly inside. Microwave built here as well. Plenty of room for all kinds of extra things, either in here, up top here. Here's your stereo, it's located here. It is a CD player, you can see that. Plus it's got an MP3 port as well. Uh, inside the cabin here, give you an idea for space. Two people can easily sleep here. Table is located under here, which comes up to form a dinette, or drops down and fills in for the full uh, uh, rebirth cushion. Full mirror, gimbal lighting. What's, this is a nice feature also. This is your hatch for up through the deck. Uh, but what's nice about it is it has a built-in shade. So that's, you don't have clumsy things to deal with. This whole shade is on a slider. Plus, you have a screen as well. Many boats you have to deal with a small screen that you have to put in place. This is all built right in, so it's a nice feature. Stainless steel windows, port lights they call them, located here. Screens fit in, but you can see this is all stainless steel and they do open up. Uh, nice, nice feature, very solid, built in with, uh, with some curtains, which make the uh, cabin look even nicer inside. Speakers inside here as well. This boat's equipped with air and heat, and that control is located over here. This is your thermostat over on this side. Plus what we have, hanging closet. So you can easily hang things all the way down inside here. So if you wanted some nicer clothes or jacket, you can hang them up and get them out of the way. But you also have storage on the boat underneath the cushions inside here and on both sides. 12 volt and uh, 120 volt refrigerator. So it's AC DC fridge that's located here. And as we go around more storage back here as well. Uh, the mid cabin, the mid cabin sleeps two as well. So you can sleep four people on board uh, in the mid cabin that goes around there. Uh, before I show you that, I will show the, the head area here. Again, very clean, has a pump out head, uh, hot and cold water for the shower and sink. And again, a, a window in there as well and mirror. So you could use this as a shower, as I said, hot water. And the hot water works off both the engine and off your shore power hot water heater. Uh, the mid cabin. Access is pretty easy. And you can see here, plenty of room. Two people can sleep here side by side. And there's a, there's a port light here for some ventilation as well. There's a screen that'll fit in there. Inside here, I see the canvas bag. This boat's equipped with camper canvas. Uh, camper canvas will allow you to stand up throughout the cockpit and close it off. So if you get caught in some inclement weather, you can uh, you can still operate the boat or enjoy the cockpit. That's the uh, that's a 2007 Sea Ray 240 Sundancer. As I said, only 34 hours. The boat's in very nice shape. If you're considering new, maybe you want to take this. Give this one a look. Uh, you can save quite a bit, and there's still some factory warranty on it. My name is Ted. Please feel free to give us a call. Thanks again.